when I got there, he had like, like the most, the sickest sneakers I ever seen in my life. They were like really gold and they had like wings on them. And this, they were beautiful. So he was asking me to show him my shoes because he know that I like shoes. And so we did that. And then I got on his back which was the coolest thing because I get to see the back of his head and his hair is just beautiful. Um, and so he takes me to this big room that now I know now was open up to the throne. Mm -hmm. But the door was singing like, it was just singing this beautiful like, it sounded like a harp, like mixed with the guitar, it was like, a melody that I never heard down here. The song, the door was singing it. And it was like these sprinkles of gold, like, and I've saw it before other times that I've ascended, it, but this time it was on a whole nother level. It's just really vibrant, just gold. So when I go inside, Abba gives me this ribbon, like really long ribbon in my hand beautiful um, and he tells me to taste it and I tasted it it tastes like cotton candy so he told me to eat it and I began to eat it and he said that is my word I, you just ate the mm. word of God the word is in you and then on this right side it was this little smile like a night table but it had seven golden candlesticks and the candles were lit and it was so pretty. I was just What did like, it smell like? Oh, it's, oh, it's a wonderful scent. Like, if I wanted to describe it, there's no scent down here to compare it at all. I would have to take all of the wonderful scents and I, they still wouldn't do it in just That's amazing. And, and so when awesome. it's just, and then these doves, they come and they land on my hand. And it's like the doves started prophesying me. It's like, you've been anointed to speak the gospel. Like the doves were saying that to me. And so then the angel said that Abba was getting ready to anoint me. And he said to bow down. And so I bowed down. And he anointed my head to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. He anointed me with a lot of stuff. But then it was this beautiful lady in front of me with this pretty white dress, but it had writings on it. And then he told me to look. And when I looked, it was like generational blessings. So now I don't have to concentrate on all the time, all the bad stuff my family did. Like, it's some good stuff came out. Like, I got to see the generation of blessings and it was a name, Tabitha. It meant something to them. It was like, Tabitha is on this dress. That's all I kept saying, Tabitha is on this dress. And I saw like all kind of giftings, like healing and, and then all kind of women of God from my family just was on the skirt of this dress. But then those same shoes that Jesus had on, I looked down and and he put those shoes on my feet. Oh. And I'm just like, it's like they say, you got the assignment. It's like, I got the assignment now. Like I, I kind of understand the purpose of me being a pastor and the purpose of me um, making sure that God get the glory out of my life. Like he's just explained to me, like, like really what it's about. He, and then this lady, she was my destiny. Like I saw my destiny walking around and she's beautiful. Yeah. My destiny is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It was just. How did you be with the Abba? Oh, I, it's amazing. I'm gonna tell you, like they say he's a consuming fire. He consumes when you get in his presence. Like you're consumed wow. with that the presence of the Lord and like this it's oh it's it's a good overwhelming feeling. 
-hmm. when you're in his presence. Yes. It's like something in you know that it's a privilege that you even there. Mm -hmm. So something in you honors it. Like gotcha. you don't have time to think about it. It's like something in your soul knows you honor where you are. Like this is a privilege that you're here. Mm -hmm. And that's just how I felt and it's nobody can describe that to you it's nothing like you actually say i mean you could describe it but you'll do it no justice yeah that's right when you get when you there and it's you hear the father and although you can't see him moving his mouth because i you can't see him but he's still having a conversation with you without you seeing his actual face you can hear every word he says it has it's not too loud and it's not too soft it's just matter of fact, I need you to hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're not hearing with your ears. Mm -hmm. You're hearing with your heart. Mm -hmm. It's like, you really is, it comes from his mouth and it catches your heart. And that's how you hear it. And, and I, it's just, it's amazing. I, each time it gets better and better. I can do this every day, and he'll probably <laughs> outdo himself every single day. This is amazing. I I really just thank God. I just wanted my cousin to come and experience it. Did not expect to be in this seat, and I thank the Lord for doing it. Jesus is Lord. Amen. <laughs>